Hello students, this will be our lecture for week 7. Uh, I'm going to go through some of the elements that we are uh, doing for this project, which is the Pause and Practice Excel 3.2. Now, in order to do 3.2, um, you have to have finished 3.1, obviously, because this is a continuation of this project. Uh, so at this point, if you have not done, and I'm just going to click on content over here, uh, if you have not done the um, 3.1, which is here, and this is your uh, data file that you will need, please do this one and submit it through this link in order to start Pulse and Practice uh, Excel 3.2. Now, before I go on with the project, I want you to notice that our submission changed a little bit just to make it easy for you uh, since we're moving on. Uh, towards only uh, remote learning so as you can see it says here click to submit week 7 under week 7 you will submit two assignments um, I need you to submit both of them at the same time so even if you finish don't submit it until you finish both of them okay so you will click in here there's different options that you can do here so just make sure you saving it to the right uh, location so for example I'm gonna browse my computer and I have a lot of things here. So let's pretend that three point, this is 3.2 and then the next one is 3.3. .3. So I'm going to hold on my shift key and select the second one. And I'm just going to say open. And I'll notice that both of them are attached. And I can just click on submit. Another way to do this, you just hit browse my computer. Uh, click on the first one. Say open. Go back to browse my computer. Uh, select the second one and say open. And then submit. Obviously, I'm not going to submit because this is not the assignments, okay? Now, I know that um, you will need the instructions in order to, you know, start this pause in practice. If you don't have the textbook, you can always, I'm going to click on SIPNET, you can always, um, the instructions are in the SIPNET where I click in here. So, the first thing to do once you're here, uh, notice that I click on SIPNET, uh, tap on Blackboard. To get me to sit net here it's taking a little long just wait for me here it goes uh my um here is a little bit different because i am the instructor so i'm going to go to your view which is the student and i'm going to go to library here and i want you to click on excel complete which is the uh that this is your textbook over here so we're working in excel uh three so excel three and in order for you to get instructions uh you have a whole list so you want pause and practice 3.1 and it's going to download the, the actual instructions. So this is how you can read them. You can print them if you can. Otherwise, you can go back and forth and work from uh, reading instructions. So going back to, I'm just going to open my spreadsheet over here. So this is 3.1. Obviously, this is the one that uh, I finished for 3.1. So I'm going to have you uh, save it uh, because you want to save this as uh, 3.2. So um, you go file, save as, I'm um, just going to save it over here. I'm going to save it as 3.1, but you make sure you save it as 3.2. Uh, uh, my recording here is um, actually covering my tab over here. So make sure you save it to 3.2, Pause and Practice Excel 3.2. Once you save it, then go ahead and continue with this project. So one of the things, I'm just gonna go through a few things. One of the things with this uh, with this spreadsheet that they're asking you to do for 3.2 is to click on the chart, okay? Clicking on the chart and working on the chart, there's one thing that is called the switch and row column button. And that is located under the chart tool design tab data group. And I'm gonna show you what that do here. So I'm gonna show you this is the design tab this is the chart tool so notice that right now our chart is um, representing in the column bar the april may and june so the legend this is the legend right here is representing the category so we wanted the categories to be representing on the chart in the april may and june months to go uh, back to the legend so we're going to say switch and roll and now it happens so now we have april may and june angel legend and then these are the categories are here so that's one of the things they're going to ask you the other thing they're going to ask you is to add in vertical axis um representing revenue over here so i'm going to go here 
this is your chart element this is your uh, chart styles by the way and right here you will see the chart filters where you're going to be asking to do and i'm going to show you how to do that so right now i'm going to click on access but uh right here i have check marks for primary horizontal and vertical i don't want horizontal so i'm going to uncheck and if you click in here you can go to the formula bar and just type the word revenues um and i have two capitals get rid of that and just click enter and now you have the word in revenues another thing i'm going to ask you to do this is again this is the legend they're going to ask you to format the um font the uh the uh size of the font so i'm going to do i don't know size let's do maybe a 12 14 something like that let's do 14 or you can also just type it and then enter and now you can see better the legend of april may and june okay another thing that they're going to ask you to do is to click on this little guy called the chart filters and they're going to ask you to unselect the wording description so they don't want this to be in the chart so i'm going to click in here to go away and then say apply so now notice that description uh, is no longer part of our chart. Okay. The chart title, uh, there's different things that they're going to ask you to do. I'm just going to type it uh, revenue. Uh, again, just revenue. Okay. Um, and right here, I'm going to select it. Uh, you can, you know, right click and say font. I'm going to do, there's different styles in outline uh but they want you to do here if you go to um again let me make sure that i'm that i have this available to me if you go to insert um i'm sorry i'm in format you have the word art you want to this is the more button and, and you just want something different okay i'm gonna go back to home i'm gonna do size i think they ask you to do size 32 that type of thing okay so there's different things that you can do um obviously you can also apply different uh text effects even text fields uh just like the background that type of thing uh if you want to do that okay so that's for most of the formatting so we did the switch um the row and column uh access to the titles um we work with the legend okay one of the things that i want you to also understand is that i'm going to switch to a, a new worksheet so you can see uh so here you have a different let me move this a little bit over here i'm going to use the quarter uh, three over here so i'm going to work with the chart uh one of the things i'm going to ask you to do is uh work with the plat area and the chart area so i'm going to show you what the what those are what is the difference so for example if you click in here just by the chart this is called the plot area um i'm going to click on format and this is the current selection where i'm pointing this is called the plot area i'm going to increase this i'm sorry just so that you can see and try to move this over here okay so plot area is what i'm clicking over here the whole entire thing if you click on the water right here that's the chart area um you don't have to really click here so for example if i want to go i'm right now in the plot area and i want to go to the chart area just click in here and goes back to the chart area if you click over here you want to go to the chart title so it goes to the chart title that type of thing but make sure before you start adding things formatting that if they say plot area click on the plot area if you don't know what that is then come over here and select it okay this is the chart area this is the title and also this is the plot area so just make sure that you are selecting the right things before you start making changes uh so one of the things let's say that the blue is july so i'm going to click on on the blue uh it and then uh they're going to ask you to do some changes uh so there's different changes uh if you double click on one of the blues which i did which represents july um they're going to ask you to do some filling uh, i'm going to do fill i'm going to do pictures um Oh, they're not holes that they were supposed to be select all of them selected so i'm gonna just what i did is shift and selected um so this is the one um hold on a second i don't know why it's not selecting it okay so they all selected now so right here we're gonna add a picture uh so insert a picture 
uh, search. I'm just going to type the word cabin and enter. Select one of them. It doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't matter which one. And click on insert. And now it's a picture. But you want to make sure it's going to ask you to not the stretch format of the picture, but they want you to do stack. And that's one of the things that it's just you got little different pictures for those um, bar, bar on the charts. Okay, so that's pretty much it with this chapter. Uh, if there's any questions that you may have, uh, remember that I sent you an invitation for Skype this coming, which is tomorrow already. Monday, uh, we will start at 11.30. Every Monday, we will have Skype in. Hopefully, you can join me and you can ask questions. If there's any other time that you need to Skype, just try me. Otherwise, I will return your um, Skype call. Uh, you can email me. You can set up an appointment with me. We can Skype or we can just go back and forth and email me. Uh, just let me know if there's anything else that I can uh, help you and to make sure that you are learning remotely. And again, I'm going to go back to our Blackboard course in content with seven is the very first link over here. So there's two. So when you finish this 3.2, you will need it to start the 3.3. Good luck to you and just let me know if there's anything else that you need in order to complete with 7. Thank you so much.